All right, folks, breaking news. NVIDIA, it caught a downgrade. That's right, after everyone on Wall Street up there target uh, Lynx Equity. Now, okay, I'm, I'm not familiar with them, but they've downgraded it to neutral from buy. Their target is 160. They think the stock is likely to fade, so they're stepping away. They're right. People will know about the firm, so I understand taking a shot here. Listen, this is what the street is officially looking for today. They, want, they think revenues would be 46 billion from 30 billion a year ago earnings a dollar one from 68 cents obviously phenomenal growth all that growth essentially is centered around uh, data centers uh, th this is just um, this is mind-boggling stuff this is only uh, april 23 4 billion almost 40 billion absolutely mind-boggling here's the thing it's just it's only getting started if you think about the the demand for electricity this is a chart for 2030 data center demand will suck up so much electricity, only China, United States, and India will use more electricity. So, in many ways, this thing is just getting started. I'm gonna bring in our IO Fund lead tech analyst, Beth Kindig. Beth, um, we're gonna bring up your, 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 your outlook, and we've got your, your, the first quarter, well, last year a, year, a year ago, and then the last quarter. And what, what's interesting here, and of course, what we're expecting, and what you're looking at also for the, uh, the, to this afternoon, a year ago, they grew 122%. Prior quarter, 69%. The current quarter, maybe 53% or the quarter we're talking about, the second quarter. Uh, you know, is that, I know it's huge. These are huge, huge numbers, and maybe it's a law of large numbers, but does this firm links have uh, some concern here, legitimate concern? I would argue they don't have a legitimate, legitimate concern. Even if China throws a wrench into the mix, AI demand is surging. We saw quarterly cap X grow 23% quarter over quarter. Now my models indicate that if Nvidia just sustains this 50% growth or it would uh, year over year or 10% quarter over quarter, which is very reasonable considering cap X just grew 23% quarter over quarter, we'll end this year with a 200 billion data center run rate and we'll end next fiscal year with a 300 billion run rate. Uh, and again, it goes back to that CapEx is, continues to right. surge on a quarter over quarter basis. And we have those new generation of GPU shipping. This is not the right time to cool off on NVIDIA. So, and, and I was just reading about their server ramp and just how impressive that was. Uh, this is from CoreWeave. Uh, again, it seems like every facet of this industry, every facet of the business. Yesterday, we were talking to Jetson uh, Thor uh, chip, right, for, for, uh, for, uh, for the physical AI. It just feels like they're always ahead of the curve, no matter what. Yeah, that's why I actually focus on GPU generations compared to over earnings. Um, and this year's back half loaded in that regard. You brought up the NVL 72 systems. Big tech will do whatever it takes to get those systems. They are going to offer a critical advantage on training and inference. Uh, and what they can do right now to get those systems is open their wallet. And again, Charles, this is all just now starting to ship uh, this new generation of GPUs. All right, so uh, again, bubble talk, uh, really picking up speed. Uh, Sam Alt Altman, that MIT study, whatever it is. This is a table I saw recently that talked about the inability you know, to, to sort of monetize this thing or to have a good business model. Just what do you make of all the different, uh, whatever the angles are, the, the talk that, okay, this is fine and dandy, but it is a bubble. Yes, I think it's a great question. The most important question for investors is, how do I position to participate in this massive trend? And for us, and what I've talked about quite a bit with you on the show, is it's AI hardware. Um, it, it really is those picks and shovels. That is distinct difference from AI software, which is really in this R&D phase. One day, my portfolio will be loaded with AI software, but it's not right now because it really is a picks and shovels market. Uh, the China threat, uh, it seems like every day we wake up to another story today, uh, more stories. China aims to triple AI chip output. I mean, it's a good, uh, listen, it's a, it's a good goal, obviously, but many years, and whenever I see, they see these headlines, they act like it's happening tomorrow. Yes, and I would almost say with the China threat, let's look at last quarter. Uh, NVIDIA had to write off inventory due to China, and they did it easily, and they still beat earnings estimates. Uh, NVIDIA has many levers it can pull. China is not even in the top five, maybe even in the top 10, if you were to ask me, right. of most important areas that uh, NVIDIA has to execute on. 
So anyway, uh, just real quick, I know it's about 30 seconds. Streets looking at using options is a 6% move. For you, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, you're someone, you've been in this stock, you were in it long before almost anyone ever heard of the company. You dealt with a lot of heavy blows because there was a time when the stock was extraordinarily vulnerable. So a long-term investor, should this matter? I would be a buyer if this stock sells off. There is not a better time to buy NVIDIA than on the eve of new GPU generation shipping. That is absolutely key here, Charles, and count me as a buyer. All right, you got it. Thanks, Beth. Appreciate it.